Episode 5, A Guide to Large Reef Aquariums. Electrical and Cable Management on the Reef LX. The average four foot reef aquarium draws over a thousand watts and your typical 15 amp circuit can handle about 1400. It's pretty easy to start overloading your home if you're not careful. Using low wattage equipment such as LED lighting and power heads will go a long way when trying to reduce the overall power load of the system. With safety at top of mind, it's a good idea to install GFI outlets and circuits along with utilizing drip loops for each plugged in piece of equipment. When looking to purchase a power board or surge protector, make sure to purchase a brand that you trust. From the equipment we installed on this aquarium, it's important to look at the wattage draw. With the NIOS 300 skimmer, we're drawing 44 watts. The torque reactor is at 12 watts. The XR30 with four lights is 860 watts. The heaters draw 1000 watts. The MP60s draw 45 watts. The Vectra L2 at 150 watts. This system will draw an estimated 2200 watts, so a 20 amp circuit at 2400 watts should be sufficient. In order to mount and organize all of our cords, we use items such as cable tie mounts, cable tie straps, Velcro cable ties, zip ties, and cable channel concealer. For our power strips, we mounted two of them on the wall behind the aquarium on the right side. For these, we use the Kilowatt PS10 power monitor and surge protector. One great thing about this is it has a soft power up which eliminates harmful voltage spikes. First thing we did is we installed our radion lights, ran the cords down the back of the aquarium, and then mounted the power supplies onto the back of the cabinet. We used cable ties and cable straps in order to bundle up all the loose cords. All the other equipment that we installed on the aquarium, we did the same process of making sure to bundle up and zip tie and secure excess cords. We also have labeled at the power strip each cord for easy reference. I then made one power strip available for just the equipment that would need to shut off during a water change. We have mounted the controller for the Versa and one of the MP60s into our control board. Due to the length of the aquarium and the cable provided with MP60s, one controller did have to go onto the back right side of the aquarium. As you see, cord management can be time consuming and a lot of hard work, but it's well worth it for the ease of maintenance and safety of your aquarium.